What if I tell you that you may no longer have to fill your car tire with air? Sounds impossible, right? But that could soon change. Watch this report for more details. Innovation in automotive technology has changed the way cars are designed. Mostly, it's the upper body of the vehicle and the technology inside that have seen drastic changes. But now is the time to innovate with tyres. Look at this. This is an airless tyre. This technology helps not just eliminate flat tyre sand rapid pressure loss, but it's also environmentally friendly. Drive over nails or potholes, there is no risk of a puncture or a blowout. The airless tyre compresses and comes back to its original form. French tyre leader Michelin is among the world's few companies that design and create airless tyres. It is designed with a revolutionary structure that is capable of supporting the vehicle. One important question that comes to mind is, how does this technology work? Airless tyres use strong interlace spokes that surround the wheel. They are produced to have a mesh-like structure that can flex and change shape as the car drives and goes over bumps. These tyres are already used on small vehicles such as golf carts and lawn mowers. Michelin claims that these airless tyres are now viable for commercial use as well. It's an innovative tyre because it's a tyre with the particularity that there's no air inside, so you still have a tread, which allows you to grip the road, brake, etc. And the tyre is made up of an aluminium rim to which CVR or glass resin composite ribs are bonded. A belt that holds all these ribs in place so that they remain in the correct position. Also made of CVR. And finally the tread which is the traditional tread found on a normal tyre. Airless tyres guarantee driving comfort. They are also said to be durable. But there are also downsides. Due to their high suspension capabilities, airless tyres can absorb the impact of tricky terrain which can create a rougher ride. Also, due to their durability and the materials needed to make them, these tyres will be a lot more expensive to buy. What's more important is how regulators look at this new innovation and what they decide. 